Scientists from the U.S. say they might have a way to find out if the solar system has a primordial black hole for its speculative ninth planet. Astronomers from Harvard University have proposed a task for the Legacy Survey of Space and Time, or LSST, mission. This project would try to use the mission's planned observatory in Chile to discover whether the solar system's hypothetical planet 9 is a primordial black hole. According to the study in the astronomical journal Letters, Oort cloud comets could be used to detect the black hole because an intercepted comet would flare up and trip the observatory sensors. According to a news release from the Harvard-Smithsonian Center, a comet approaching the black hole would melt after meeting the accretion disk's heat. The black hole's tidal forces would then disrupt the comet and deposit the matter onto the disk. This process would emit radiation flares. The upcoming LSST has high sensitivity and the ability to scan the entire night sky twice per week, while current sensors have to be trained at a predetermined spot. The LSST's advantages should allow astronomers to detect flares from smaller impacts than before. Co-author A.V. Loeb is quoted as saying, The outskirts of the solar system is our backyard. Finding Planet 9 is like discovering a cousin living in the shed behind your home, which you never knew about. But wouldn't a black hole in this analogy mean the cousin in our shed is a murdering psycho? If a secret black hole has been orbiting the solar system all along, then this guy would no longer be the closest known black hole to Earth. Astronomers think they have found the universe's nearest black hole to Earth. But what's so remarkable about it besides being close, you ask? Well, you see, our neighborhood black hole is, so to speak, a vegetarian among black holes. Scientists at the European Southern Observatory report they may have spotted a black hole so close to Earth that its two companion stars are visible to the naked eye. According to the paper in Astronomy and Physics, the black hole is 1,000 light years distant in the HR 6819 system, which is part of the constellation Telescopium. Writing in a news release, the scientists say a black hole is usually identified by the accretion disk it forms as it devours a nearby star and the energy that it releases into space. However, the black hole of HR 6819 exists peacefully with its stellar companions, and astronomers use the orbits of the two stars to infer that an object with four times the solar mass is in the system, which can only be a black hole. Black holes are not the only objects that blast powerful jets of energy across the universe. Scientists recently found a highly magnetized neutron star inside our own Milky Way galaxy that is hitting Earth with fast radio bursts. The first fast radio burst to be discovered in the Milky Way has been traced back to a magnetar known as SGR 1935 plus 2154, located 32,616 light years away from Earth, astronomers researching the phenomena told Nature magazine. The burst was detected by satellites including NASA's Neil Garrell Swift Observatory and radio telescopes operated by the Canadian Hydrogen Intensity Mapping Experiment, or CHIME, and the Survey for Transient Astronomical Radio Emission 2, or STAIR-2, in the U.S. Fast radio bursts are brief but cataclysmic high-energy blasts that flare for just milliseconds but release as much energy as our sun generates in 80 years, according to previous findings published in Nature. A magnetar is described in the Annual Review of Astronomy and Astrophysics as a kind of highly magnetized neutron star, the compressed core of a star that exploded in a supernova and collapsed in on itself. According to NASA, a magnetar is roughly 20 kilometers in diameter and is so dense that a single tablespoon of its mass could weigh 1 billion tons. It rotates faster than ordinary neutron stars, once in less than one second. Magnetars are surrounded by intense magnetic fields, citing University of Toronto astronomer and CHIME member Paul Schultz, Nature magazine explains that because they spin so quickly, magnetars built up huge reservoirs of energy that could produce powerful cosmic blasts. According to one theory, magnetars might be able to power fast radio bursts by releasing flares of energy in a star quake caused by the huge stresses exerted on the magnetar as its magnetic fields twist and snap back in place. I wouldn't say it's the nail in the coffin that we figured out that fast radio bursts come from magnetars, Emily Petroff, an astronomer at the University of Amsterdam, told Nature magazine, but it's by far the most promising piece of evidence that we've found. For more news animations and explainers, hit the subscribe and bell button to join the Tomo News family. Thanks for watching.